What's up, guys? Today's a new Music Gear Monday. I'm Carl Carell, and it's a quick one. Two weeks ago, Arturia dropped a synth from back in the day by Insonic. Really popular 80s sounds. They claim for it to be very, very similar as far as the 8-bit quality, the LFOs, the modulation and LFOs that you can put inside, and it comes with a ton of patches. We're gonna hop in and take a look at that. I just barely got it, so I'm still getting familiar with it it's a really cool looking synth this is the reason why you like to download VSTs you get all of this analog feel inside of your laptop and I can take this laptop with me pretty much anywhere what we're looking at right here is the SQ 80 V if you go into your settings you have the tutorials which will explain a little bit about the synth kind of give you a background like I said late 80s is when this guy came out hybrid combines 8-bit envelope multiple elements LFOs and advanced modulation routing. This is one of the first times that I'm using this synth. As you can see, you have your oscillators kind of built in up top. You can kind of see what they're giving you. You have a built in filter here. If you tap on synthesis, wow, you get way more possibilities here as far as your envelopes go and as far as your oscillators go, being able to control every parameter of this sound. And a lot of built-in synths have, you know, sections where you can separate your oscillators. But it's laid out very, very easy for someone who doesn't necessarily dive too far into synths to be able to manipulate some of the sounds. So we're going to look at some of these built-in patches, um, some of these different bass lines you have. There's a 90s bass. And you could probably hear me tapping on the keys because I don't have a MIDI controller hooked up today because my MacBook and this little USB hub is freaking out. But... So you also have an effects tab where you can go in here and you can add reverb. So you can really go in here and carve out the sound that you want to carve out. Start adding effects and then save your presets. Make a ton of your own favorited patches. As you can see, there is so many sounds available. We go to all types. Here you go. Let's check out one of these brass sounds. <laughs> And what I really like about Arturia synths is that they build the synth so that it feels like it's an actual physical thing. You can actually go in here and you can push buttons and you get a little bit of that feedback as far as what you would on an actual piece of hardware synth, which is really, really cool. You could see something physically moving, and I, I really like what Arturia is doing. Let's check out a couple more sounds. That's fun. You have keys, organs, pad, piano, sequence. Change the rate, put it 
hold on it. Really start tweaking out some of these some of these sounds. Play with some of the envelopes. So Arturia is making it really easy for sound designers, people that love to sculpt sound, make scores, and it's great that programs like this exist all in your computer. It'd be nice, it'd be very nice to have every single keyboard that these guys make physically, but it's nice to have a digital version because some of these synths, like I talked about in previous episodes, are very expensive. Now, does this synth live up to the hype of you know, the cost? For me, I say yes, because like I said in previous episodes, going out and buying these physical synths is gonna cost you, you know, sometimes four times, five times as much as the software version. So yeah, I would definitely say it's worth the buy. It was on sale for $49. I posted that on our Instagram page. Hopefully you're following us over on Instagram because when sales pop up or things I think are cool pop up, I love to post about them. So hopefully some of you guys jumped on that. Uh, like I said, very, very cool synth. There are very retro sounding synths. It is great for people that like to, like I said, sound design. A lot of lo-fi producers, I know would love some of these sounds. A lot of house producers would love some of these sounds. There is some amazing stuff in here and it, it's definitely worth checking out. So the SQ80V, if you're in the market for a new VST, this might be something to check out. I'll post some videos below of some different tutorials and different videos that I've been seeing people make. But I just wanted to show you this synth. It was on sale. You might still be able to hit Arturia up and get you a coupon or something. If you have this synth or if you've used this synth or if you're a fan of the V collection, let me know your thoughts about this SQ80V. That's going to be it. I'm Carl Carell. We'll catch you guys here next week. Peace.